करमणा सुकृत स्याहु सात्विक निर्मलम फलम रजसस्तु फलम दुखम ज्ञानम तपसा फलम human beings made from five elements specifically the body earth water fire air and space and other than these five things we have vibrations we have our own self which is our consciousness and nothingness present in us these elements create certain inner qualities in ourselves and those inner qualities are called gunas guna is a sanskrit word for strands guna is strands in english the meaning of strands is also qualities so these are the three different kind of the qualities present in human beings and it's not that only one of them is present in you all the three of them are always present in us depending upon whether one is able to suppress two of them and whenever becomes whenever whichever becomes prominent we are always identified by that guna if you are satvik means two other gunas will be less present in you and satvik will be more present in so what i want to say that gunas are the strands are the qualities they are energetic forces and weave together to form the universe and everything inside of ourselves understanding this we go to straight away to the verse we have chosen for today and that verse says the every guna every action can be classified as satvik rajasik or tamasik and these are the three different types of gunas satvik represents purity rajas represents pain comp not compassion passion and fruit of tamas is ignorance so you can say satvik is connected with wisdom tamasik is connected with ignorance and rajasik is connected somewhere in between and where you want to work very 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 hard all the time so you have always all three of them presented you sometimes satoguna is strong some other time tamoguna is strong and some other time rajoguna is strong depending upon most of the time which one is strong that becomes your personality that becomes your tendencies so guna can also be defined as tendencies habitual way you respond to any situation 
that arise in your life. Everybody. Suppose, I give you a situation and you will understand. Suppose, there was a car wrongly parked, parked at road or in the parking area. And then Ante and her boyfriend went straight and hit the car. They are nice people. So what they did, they put a note on the car that it has been damaged by me. Whenever you see, you please contact me and whatever may be the cost of it is, we pay and forget about it. So this is a kind of sattvic things. Now, other person comes, he sees the car, damages are a little less. She is so nice, so beautiful. She has given the name, given the phone number. Person calls her, says, Oh, sister, everything is fine. There is a little damage and I'll get it prepared. You don't need to worry about it a lot. These are, this is one way of handling it. Second way of handling is, how the hell somebody has parked their car, they don't know even parking, who has given them the license? And And again, you can write a note also if you want. You don't know how to park the car. Okay. Because of your mistake, I had damaged your car. And mine was also a little bit damaged. Now, you have to repair yours and you have to pay for mine also. The other person comes in. He says, he is also now passionate, having rasik guna. He says, you don't know how to drive. My car was parked. You don't know how to drive. You need to go and get your license renewed. I don't know how this licensing authority has given you the license. Go and surrender it. There is no reason. There is no reason. Nothing has happened that big as to create this kind of a situation. And the third is, your car has hit. That idiot has parked the car here. He doesn't know how to drive. He doesn't know how to park. Okay, I make another blow to this car. And so he understands. I want to teach him a lesson so that he understands how to park better in the future. These are the three ways you can address to the problem that your car has just touched another car. Okay. And then you don't give your address, you don't give a phone number. And then somehow she finds out your address and your phone number. She comes to your home with shouting things. And you end up in fighting. In the first situation, it was so nice that you can end up in loving each other. Second situation was not that good, and third situation is the worst. Every situation, the way in which you have handled is called Satoguna, Rajoguna, and Tamoguna. And therefore, Gunas are those tendencies, those habitual behavior, those habitual ways in which you respond to any situation that arises in your life and 
you handle it now let us go a little deep into these gunas as i said there are three types tamas rajas and sattva tamas is stable strong and stable is tamas it has devilish properties now some people think that devilish is always bad but sometimes devils are better than divine when i want to tell you when they have to keep their promise divine a sattva guna never keeps their promise they find out a situation in which you can flow like a water when rock comes in between it never fights the rock it just bend a little goes around the rock and finds its path but tamas tamas will break the rock how dare you come in my way it is very stable and they are very nice friends if you have got a friendship with the devil be rest assured they will take care of you if you have got enmity with them be sure that they will take care of you okay <laughs> so so when when in anybody tamas is stronger than satoguna and rajoguna then tamas suppresses the good quality present in you and the passionate quality present in you it makes us lethargic it makes us live in stagnation it is you can call it the force of entropy and force of stability as i said this quality if you have you will be the promise keeping come what may if two countries has become friend having tamas qualities they will always remain friend irrespective of whether they are right or they are wrong they are friend first and after that it is right and wrong unlike satoguna that your friendship is issue based okay you will try to make your friend understand that whatever you are doing is not right but in case your tamo guna is strong okay whatever you have done my friend i stand with it that is the stability and we'll win together or we we'll lose together so one quality which is very strong and very nice in tamas that they stand for whatever they say they are always trustworthy but at the same time they are lethargic they live in stagnation they are slow they are thick they are stabilized and focused focus on whom themselves they are egoistic a very strong ego is present in them always and what we say that it is related to exhalation why we say it is related to exhalation that these qualities if in case they are present in you try to exhale them out try to exhale them out and try to develop other qualities in you so that 
instead of having tamoguna you can go into satoguna or into rajoguna okay now let us move and understand the qualities of rajoguna what are the qualities of rajoguna rajo is the energy of change you are very passionate you like to change everything you like to change your home curtains sometimes partners sometimes everything what you have you are not satisfied with you were struggling to get a manager's job the moment you get the manager's post you want to become senior manager that is rajoguna you wanted to earn 3000 dollars a month divine energy has made you get those 3000 a month the moment you get 3000 your target becomes 3500 so rajas qualities are those qualities where you like and love the change you like enthusiasm you like passion and there is a immense self confidence present in you you want to get things done whatever way is not important with the right method or with the wrong method you want to complete your work at all the cost all the time okay maybe others are suffering it is not matter to you what matters to you is whether they are working for you or not if you are an, an employee she has a headache you will say then why did you come okay so you instead of thinking about her headache you will be more concentrated on whether she is able to work for you at that time or not and therefore rajas energy is future directed and because it is future directed person having the rajas qualities in him he manifests longing manifests yearning what? longing longing for something okay longing for accumulation longing for anything so you often manifest for longing and end up being sad why because how can you be happy happy is the moment i meet my targets i became happy but rajas people they never meet their targets the moment they meet the targets of 3000 euro a month they make the target 6000 okay so struggle is permanently present in them what is struggle a struggle is a devil and this devil is very smart what it does it binds you and it never leaves you and how does it do that by change what happens what is change my goal was to attain 5000 and live happily i have attained the goal of 5000 but i but i don't live happily how because of the change what i changed i changed my goal from 5000 
to 6,000. Now this is struggle is again struggling with the passionate thing and basically basically what happens she says we need this money for our old age true we need it for our old age how much if you have accumulated 100,000 it is not enough because you want to accumulate 110,000 future so this energy always works for the future and is never satisfied the moment a tendency of satisfaction comes in it changes it changes the goal so longing remains permanent sadness remains permanent struggling remains permanent but the positive side of it is Self-confidence also remains permanent. Anything they start, they are able to finish it. By hook or by crook. <laughs> by right method or by wrong method. But anything what they start, they always finish it and change the goal. It's not that they are not able to finish their things and are sad. They are sad because they keep changing everything. Okay. And because of changing. And why they change? Because they are never satisfied. Satisfaction is missing from them. What remains always is a great passion, a great self-confidence, a great feeling that I will be able to attain anything and everything. But after attaining, they want to change again to a bigger goal. Now, I see that you think, is it bad to have a bigger goal? Definitely not. It is not bad to have bigger goal. But you have to understand that life is not only all about success. Life is something beyond successes also. Life is something what is called satisfaction. So okay, change your goal, change slowly, but enjoy today's success. Enjoy today's success and then plan for your future. This was about Rajoguna. Now the third guna is Satoguna. Based on virtues. It is based on wisdom. It is based on consciousness. And it is all, all about radiant presence. Present in the present moment. And it is about unadulterated truth. Yeah. You need something for the future. Make the arrangement for that, but without worrying. It is about being compassionate. Somebody has some problem, you always stand for them. Tamoguna was very much self-oriented. And Satoguna is selfless oriented. Here, I tends to become we and you always want to work for organization not for your own self your goals are clear focused calm and receptive you don't want to achieve a lot but whatever you want to achieve 
you want to make sure that it is good for you now you question that what relationship these gunas has got in his spirituality whether i am satu guna i'll be more spiritual or if i am rajo guna i'll be more spiritual or if i am tamo guna i'll be more spiritual the spiritual journey is beyond gunas so you will have to learn to be unaffected by any of these gunas and move ahead yes but in the normal life you are more towards god more towards the divine energy if you have sato guna present in you if you have rajo guna present in you you are human and if you have tamo guna present in you you are devilish if you see the horoscopes kind of gunas we are born with is also indicated in the horoscope it's called here i am calling it guna in horoscope it is called gun and there are three gun divine human and devil more tamo guna and less sato guna and rajo guna makes us devil more rajo guna and less sato guna and tamo guna makes us human you see how human are they are passionate they are self confident they always want to achieve something the moment they achieve something they change their goal and how the divines are give something forget about it give something without expecting anything back is the divine quality and i always try and give an example of sun sun keeps giving energy to all of us we even do not understand that this energy comes from sun sun is not worried about that moonlight and similarly the enlightened are similarly the most important spiritual people they just believe in giving without expecting anything back from it so this is all about sato guna rajo guna and tamo guna that makes you divine human or devil and i wish that all of us who are hearing to it they be able to suppress rajo guna suppress tamo guna and develop their sato guna to become divine mm-hmm. i wish you that you become divine and be able to live a satisfied life rather than living a successful life thank you so